Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Fracture, and I just wanted to walk you through how I went about the simulation track uh, from the Lawrence Lore soundtrack. So here's sort of how it started. Uh, Rubeki sent me um, sort of a screenshot, and he gave me uh, like this prompt, this description. You know, he uh, he sent me some footage of what a potential level might look like. This is from a really old version of his game, uh, the the prologue. So kind of just some material for me to uh, try and draw some inspiration from. I was looking for something kind of dreamy, upbeat jazz, casual, relaxing. You know, you're trying to solve a puzzle with slick parkour, etc., etc. This is my original sort of concept that I sent to him. But for you guys, also show you what kind of screenshot I was working off of when I made this. It was very Unreal Tournament music inspired, if, if you can't already tell. But this one was not breakbeats. This was more in the um, drum and bass territory. You guys will sort of check. You, you will sort of hear it now. Anyways, that one didn't make the cut. I don't think uh, Rubiki was not really... Uh, he, he liked some ideas from that, but he wasn't really looking for that uh, drum and bass, faster tempo vibe. So what we want with next is actually, you know, more of the final track. And I'll actually just go through um, Ableton and show you guys the project file and kind of how it broke things down. So uh, really the, the entire track kind of started off this one sample. Uh, let me see right here uh called melt saw so this right here let me if i can solo this track or play it you can hear this if i turn everything off here so it's actually uh it's actually part of this sample pack uh you know free sample pack that i uploaded to free sound back in like 2014 um I went back and, and referenced this, and I just I think I really like the the sound here. So I figured I would pitch this down, add a bunch of reverb to it, and uh, what I eventually ended up getting was this. Uh, so this this is sort of the pitch down version I got here. So if you see this, even that that sounds like it'd be sick. That sounds like a neon white uh, track right there. Anyways, so I added, the, I added this uh, reverb, some filtering, some compression, uh, just side chaining with the kick, and I got this sound. So that's where that kind of baseline root atmosphere that derives this track kind of comes from. The sort of dreaminess, I mean, I love that sound. That's the sound I try to capture always. It's kind of this dreamy, ethereal, underwater, very deeply atmospheric sound. So it sort of fit well. Um, so that was the start. And then I'm going to take off some of these cussive elements. So the next thing, the a couple of other things I did before I also play the synths, I really just tried to layer uh, more atmospheric elements. So. So after that, I had some strings that I wanted to add. So I think I came in here. I'm actually using, I'm using session strings. Session strings is like sort of a classic uh, instrument with very, very, very nice live recorded sampling for the strings. But anyways, uh, this is the sound that I got. Uh, so I plotted down. And you get. I love that sound. That's such a ethereal sort of sound there. Um, and then uh, add in a couple more pads using this um, plugin called Pad Shop from Steinberg, because uh, I'm actually a, a Cubase person. I use Cubase a lot, uh, but this actually is one of Stein Steinberg's VSTs, which I like. I think I uh, yeah, just picked one of their uh, presets here, and I really liked it. This is mostly to add that, like, high-end uh, sparkly sound. It just fits really well. Like, yeah, if I take this off, 
So that original Meltzaw um, sample that I have gives me that nice mid, mid-low, dreamy atmosphere. This one fills in kind of the high end with some sparkles. Very light. Uh, everything is, you know, I try to be, I try to just add in these little tasteful accents to layer the, uh, the to just create this really nice texture. Going to the strings. Uh, the next thing is pretty straightforward. We just add in these, like a, it's just a, a an instance of operator, which I just create like a low decay sort of plucky uh, synth sound. Very simple. <laughs> Very plucky synth sound with operator. You know, add a little bit of reverb and, and um, delay. And that's the original sound. Also did a little bit of a, like a, add a tiny bit of a pitch envelope, which gives it, uh, it just makes this, makes it sound just a tiny bit more organic. I mean, it's not really that organic. It is very synthy, very synthetic sound. Um, but that little pitch envelope, um, gives a nice little sort of detune, um, effect that I like. Uh, anyway, so add some delay. Um, and then I layer it with the second clone of that sound, which is heavily reverberated. And now, yeah, we add some beats at the top. Let me enable them. By using Groove Agent, which is also another Steinberg plugin. Use, I'm just automating a filter on top of these uh, in the beginning to uh, create a transition, and here's what you get. Oh, sure. I think I, yeah, I'm supposed to mute that. Um, that's sort of like the main texture of the song is kind of there. The rest is in the bass line and uh, the drum pattern. Uh, the bass line here I'm using Vital. A simple kind of Reese bass patch that I got. Uh, I think I downloaded this from some pack, but then I modified it uh, some fair bit. Uh, anyways, this is a really awesome Reese bass. Sound that I love. I think Vital's awesome, but uh, yeah, this gives me that effect. I just wanted a classic early 2000s breakbeat Reese sound, so it really delivered. With Groove, Groove Agent, I'm just doing this very simple uh, rhythm. Playing a bit with the velocity. everything kind of working together. I also added another layer of that melt saw sample I was talking about. And uh, it gives a really cool effect. I love that effect. Very simple. This is a very simple process to create these textures. You can see the track is really not that many, um, like the whole song is not really that many tracks. Try to keep it very simple. Bring the bass in and out a bit. This is the transition where I also layer some more um, percussion. Again, a lot of the sounds here, very reminiscent of music from Unreal Tournament. That is the main inspiration for this, uh, for this song. This is also that style. And now some classic progressive breaks. Can I play with the melody a bit? Oh, also uh, did add um, a new layer to this these uh the main bass line very subtle
that's pretty much the track. Yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll show you a bit of what it actually looked like in the kind of game itself. This is a clip from Alias Gaming. Um, it was in his stream for a while watching him play, watching him finish the game actually, and then uh, he did one of the simulation levels, so I guess kind of what it's like. Speed we can get on this. Okay. Try not to spend too much time landing. Okay, so that, that's a... I hold T three seconds, that's a reset. I gotta get the, the speed timer on the screen. I'm sure that's so sort of my vision of, of the track itself is to kind of capture this ethereal, dreamy sort of simulation for the Android in the game. Uh, it's like jump puzzle simulation. Definitely influenced by Neon White, uh, the musical aspect of uh, influence heavily from Unreal Tournament. Uh, and then you get sort of this package. That's a, a function. Okay. Beautiful. This is him trying to do this insane skip. I'm not making it this time. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, uh, that's the track. Um, I'll probably post some more videos going behind the scenes of some of the other tracks in the game. Again, super fun process. Check out Lauren's Lure. Lauren's Lure is out now on Steam. Uh, the full soundtrack is also available on Bandcamp, on Steam, um, Spotify, sort of anywhere you can think of listening to it. It's there. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Peace.